What's going on, gang? Happy Saturday, man. And, uh, you know, it's, it's Saturday, so y'all need to get happy, excited, lit, and, um, you know, it's the weekend. And guess what else is happening? What came out yesterday, y'all? The weekend. Not what? Not W E E K E N D. W E E K N D. You feel me? Without the E. The weekend came out with an album, and y'all are tripping over it, man. I see all the comments and opinions. Look, there's only facts about this. It's a raw last album. That's the only fact about it. It's probably his best production album ever. And if y'all not listening to the way each song is transitioning, you know, then that's y'all fault. I don't know what to tell y'all. You feel me? So make sure y'all definitely go check out the weekend's new album, Start to Finish. I had personally had to listen to it twice. The weekend music is like that. Uh, a lot of people listen to it once and then they, oh no, I don't like it. And even I can tell you guys as a real EXO supporter that I've done that where I'm like, damn, this song didn't really hit. But then you come back around the second time around, you pay attention to the song before it and you pay attention to the song after it. And there's a storyline that we always miss. And that's why when you watch a movie, a good movie, you got to watch it two, three times so you can catch everything. And that's a fact. You can't catch everything off the first watch, especially a really good movie. Um, that's just how it is. So this is really good music. You got to re-listen to it a couple of times. Life goes on. You feel me? But today, I need y'all to press that subscribe button, hit that bell to the right of it, and join the Life of ME game, man. But yeah, guys, I got some stories to tell y'all today before I get to work. I'm 10 minutes away, so I got some time. Um, <clears throat> oh, and I'm going to be on time today, y'all. Stop playing with me. Different mode. Different mode right now. Different mode. I'm closed there to nine so yeah but i want to tell you about the times i've been shot at or been around uh gun violence um we're gonna start with the very first time i was like nine years old um i was a really bad kid as if i told y'all before my dad used to work all day my mom was taking care of four of us i believe at the time so it was really hard for her to take care of me especially because i was bad and did whatever i wanted plus i was charming so I was sweet talking to whatever I wanted and all that stuff, you feel me? But anyway, talking to my mom, I mean, uh, somehow uh, I'm outside all the time. I remember as a little kid, I was always outside and the Kings ran our block on Pleasant Street. There was, uh, in, the, in the alleyway, there was the Vice Lords. On, the, on my street, there was the, the Kings um, on Comstock. No, two, yeah, Comstock, kind of where the G's came from. Um, and then you got Hunter Street where the two sixes is at. Um, and that's where all the little gangs kind of were so close with each other, y'all. Like, super close. Um, you know, thinking back at it, it was so fake because a lot of those people switched over to a different gang. A lot of those people actually um, had love with it for each other. It was it was really weird. I remember sometime, one time the two six came down to King Hood and were throwing down two six and hanging out with us. Like, hanging out with the kings and stuff. And... I say us because I was young and I remember they used to ask me if I want to get jumped in. And I used to say, yeah. And I was a little ass boy getting beat up, y'all, by these. They weren't grown. They were like 13, 14. Uh, they were still in junior high. Uh, I know that because they were all going to Dirksen still. I think some were like in high school. But I was really young. I was, uh, you know, fourth grade, fifth grade, stuff like that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I got expelled my fourth grade year for drawing the crown on all my folders with the four going down y'all like that's literally like i'm not even capping i was really that bad y'all i was really that bad um yeah it was crazy it was a crazy time i had a line say i saw the drawings at some bidoc that i was at or something and they wouldn't believe me because they knew my hood was king hood but anyways y'all uh hanging out with this uh one of my guys i mean i can say names it don't even matter his name was dj i'm in back of his pedal his pegs no, 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 no. He sent me, it was me and him, and he sent me to the vice lords in the alley to go tell them, like, do they want problems? He sent me, and I already knew the vice lords in the alley because, again, I lived on that hood. Everybody knew me. I was just a young, like, bad kid, but I uh, clicked with the kings instead. So I go in there, tell all the vice, they're all like, what up, little Martin? Tell them, like, hey, man, DJ over there, they seen who it was, they know who he is, he's a king. And then I'm like, hey, he said, if y'all want problems, they, they, I think they started laughing or something, and they was like, man, look, uh, tell him to stay away or something like that. I don't know. I go back to a DJ, whatever I told him, I don't remember. And next thing I know is we're riding up 
uh, about to take a ride on Pleasant Street, which is where I live and where the Kings really hanged out at. Um, and this car pops up and three people jump out the car, like running towards us. All I know is I throw my bike to the left, start running. One dude almost caught me. My guy DJ, uh, he, all I remember seeing him is like a scene out of the movies, bro. He just put his bike to the side and the, and the pe pegs on the front and back just was scraping against the ground, like fat sparks and shit. And he put out a little magnum and just start shooting at them. Um, and then uh, I guess one of them actually peed their pants and stuff. Like it was this some real life shit, real life shit. We end up finding out. And then, um, you know, as I got older, um, you know, stuff started getting really crazy. Um, uh, rest in peace to my guy Armando and Balazar's mom and, and little sister. Um, they got killed in a cocktail bomb. Uh, these two six threw three, three cocktail bombs in their home uh, and they were attended for Baldazar who was only 14 years old guys um, maybe he was 13 because he wouldn't even reach high school yet he was an eighth grader and they didn't even get him and these were grown like Mexicano guys like over 30 years old each guy that did this four guys went to jail for this uh, you know it was a mission that they were got sent on and um yeah, they didn't even get him. They got the mom and little daughter, man. That's saddest thing ever. That's when all the kings really left the hood. Um, and then it became more. Vices were still in the alley. Uh, but then rest in peace, Oscar. Um, because uh, he got killed. He was doing some type of deal at the West Park in Joliet. And uh, they found him in the back of his own trunk with a bullet in his head. So that's kind of when the Vices start dying down. Um... And then, you know, it was just G and 2-6 there all the time. More 2-6 than anything. Um, there was a lot of hidden Gs too, though. And, um, yeah, so let's go back to, like, my personal stuff. So, um, another time. Uh, by the way, you know, y'all know I used to, you know, sell and stuff. Trying to make it out as a young kid in, in, the, in the hood. The streets I grew up in. Um, you know, if you wanted, you know, the nice clothes and all that, you had a, you had a deal. So I definitely was, uh, you know, doing what I had to do. I was getting robbed a lot, y'all. I want to say, uh, in total, I got robbed like seven times. I, you know, I was a little kid, uh, 12 to 14 year old selling, because I left Oklahoma when I was 14. Um, so I was getting robbed a lot. Then I came back as a seven, 16 year old, started selling again, all the way to like, <laughs> I got started selling to like. 18 because I got locked up and I never started never sold again after that But I was doing a lot of middleman shit to like 20 years old. And that's when I got the Ashley furniture job I didn't need to do You know risky stuff like that no more, but um, Yeah, guys, I Got robbed a bunch of times uh, not robbed like a lame. It was more like uh, It was unexpected, you know my, one time this guy I gave him the stuff he gave me the money and then uh, He started running I'm in a car, I'm with all my guys, I look at the money, it's not the, it's not the amount of money I asked for. And then now we all get out the car chasing him, can't find him. So, um, you know, three times I got robbed with a gun, so you can't do nothing about that when you ain't got no gun. They just got the gun to you and you just be like, whatever, here. You know what I'm saying, it is what it is. Uh, one time I tried to struggle with a guy and it was a huge mistake because I almost got killed. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, guys, uh, and then, so then uh, I'm, but before I moved to Naperville, I'm coming home to my mom's house and uh, and it looked like they were waiting for me in a cut or something. Uh, I never was in a gang. I never am in a gang. I never will be in a gang. Uh, like I said, I was like eight, nine, 10 years old when I thought I was a king, but that, that don't count. Yo. I'm underage. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so I get out the car and these two guys are running at me full speed. I jumped back in the car. I had somebody driving the car. So I told her to go ahead and, and you know, and drive. Uh, luckily she drove off right on time because a uh, dude started shooting. He hit the back of my SUV, my Benz SUV twice. And my uh, he hit my tire once. So three shots, y'all. Three shots left. Uh, five days later, moved in with my cousin Myra. And then, uh, you know, moved to Naperville and all that good stuff. Um, I say all that to say, y'all, like, 
the streets is not worth it, man. Being cool is not worth it. You know, trying to, you know, show that you're a tough guy is not worth it. Dealing in the streets is not worth it, man. I know this hits a lot of people different because they're like, oh, that's all I can do, bro. That's all I got. It's not true, man. If you're over 18, you can get a job anywhere and make way more money than what you make in the streets right now. And if you ain't making way more money, at least you're safe and at least you're at home. Because all that way more money is temporary. What happens when you get locked up? What happens when you die? What happens when you're in crucial condition from getting shot? Like, all that shit's not worth it, y'all. Get you a job where they got benefits and health and 401k and all that stuff. I really, you know, kind of want to share a little bit of my younger story, you know, when I was younger, um, so y'all can kind of know. Uh, I was around a lot of drive-bys. Um, my guy, Recipes Porky, um, you know, got killed right up the street from us when we were, he was just with us maybe 10 minutes ago and then I don't know where he's walking up the street and um, you know get shot and killed so um, it's a lot of people that uh, are my friends that fell um, the only funeral I ever went to was recipe Porky's when I was you know 13 or whatever and never went to another funeral again y'all because that was the saddest stuff I ever been through like that's some sad shit and you know you don't want to remember people last memory to be about you know something like that but all right, y'all. Y'all see, man. I got to the gig. That's my little story time. Uh, I, I have more stories to tell you. I just can't think of it right now. And, um, you know, we'll see what tomorrow has in store. But y'all have a great uh, rest of y'all Saturday, man. Have a blessed day. Uh, don't let nobody get between y'all. Peace. And uh, I'll be seeing y'all, man. Life of Me is checking out. Until tomorrow. Adios.